Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Dutarian Basketball bringing you another video from Call of Duty Black Ops Multiplayer Demolition Mode. Now we're here on the map Crisis. I'm attacking right now using the AK-47 with an extended magazine. Also a good old frag grenade, some chlorine gas and a radar jammer this time. And I'm attacking right now, so let's see. No one here. Running around corners with your uh, radar jammer equipped. Yeah, that will allow me to shoot quite quickly. No, it won't. Bad idea. And apparently I've got a colleague helping me to plant the bomb by lying right next to me, which is great. And so now, I'm in bomb defense mode. Trying to get this guy. And I get him, death from above. And just doing the good old perimeter secure thing. And there are evil campers on this server. Apparently, uh, defending the bomb is called camping, or defending uh, bomb sites is called camping. Um, just 10 minutes ago I got banned from another server because I was quote-unquote camping at uh, bomb, spot, bomb spot A on the uh, map with the big rocket. Well, some guys just never learn. I think their brains just can't handle demolition mode. They can play FFA and maybe team deathmatch but then that's it. No more bits and bytes left for demolition. So the bomb went up and basically I have two options right now. I could attack bomb spot B or I could sit tight and keep the enemy from getting into my team's back. And that's what I'm gonna do right now. So I just sit tight and try and defend this spot here against enemies. And apparently I hit the guy with my grenade and the rolling grenade finished him off. Interesting. And still camping, and yes, offensive camping is great. That is actually borderline base camping, but, um, well, what can I say to that? If you have an enemy camping in your base, you're doing something wrong. Now, um, that's the thing that I would advise all players to do. Forget about secondary weapons, take a Strela a surface to air rocket launcher with you or a law rocket launcher there or both have lock on and take down these goddamn spy planes counter spy planes or helicopters it's just a joke um how few people are running around with rocket launchers and then they complain about getting raped by hind helicopters by hueys by uh, attack choppers whatever well it's your own goddamn fault if you get raped by this stuff one person alone can take down a whole helicopter. No problem. You even got three rockets if you use the Strela launcher with Scavenger Pro. So, still making sure that nothing attacks from behind. My team is trying to get to bomb spot B. And I'm still hanging back, throwing a random grenade. Trying to hit anything, but the AK-47 is no sniper weapon, I'm afraid. At least not if you shoot like this. And someone shooting at me with an explosive crossbow, I hate this stuff. More free kills, attack chop already. Ah, getting to the good stuff. Scratch one more. And I am a fucking cheater, to quote the game chat. Yes, you can clearly see that I'm using wall hack, aimbot, uh, all the good stuff. Even got a brain hack. It enables me to use my brain. And I try to get this guy again. And my aim is horrible again. And the hind helicopter is ready. So now, let's try aiming for a change. Goodbye, buddy. And I am a goddamn camper asshole with one S, so I'm an asshole. Okay, why not? And I 
am fucking piece of shit. All right. Don't you just feel love in the air? And by the way, that was a dumb decision. Would have been a perfect game otherwise, but well, got too reckless. Which just shows, even if your enemy team is consisting of, well, somewhat noobish players, and that is not to berate them, um, don't take them lightly or they'll get you. So now it's just the good old pull out the hind and let the death rain from above. Ah, that's relaxing. Blood, death and vengeance. To quote the uh, barbarian from the Gamers movie. If you haven't seen the Gamers or the Gamers 2 Darkness Rising, pick it up at your um, local DVD store or um, enter it on YouTube. It's a quite hilarious movie if you're into the whole um, gaming role-playing scene. So, um, one guy actually doing the right thing here, whipping out the rocket launcher and taking me down. So, um, no matter how bad this guy is, he just did one really good thing, and that's take down the helicopter. He should have done it um, about 30 seconds faster, granted, okay, but props to you. Even you're the enemy, that was a good move. And just whipping out the good old minigun and winning more death from above. First rocket coming in and missing. Now the good old cat and mouse game begins. Can I kill the guy with the rocket launcher faster than he can kill me? And the answer is, I can. Yes, I can. To quote Barack Obama. Oh yeah, die. Blood. More blood, more death, more points, mm, juicy little points, and raining the good old death from above. Now, um, for the next movie, I'm going to do something entirely different. This time, we're gonna we're gonna have a Tarion gets his ass kicked movie. I'll um, start a new prestige soon. I'm at level 48 now, and when I do. I'm going to take the first game that I can join and um, show you the whole part. So um, you'll get to see me with um, the starter weapons, the starter weapon kits, um, basically trying to um, get as many levels as possible in one map. My record at the moment is from level 1 to level 7 in one map, but I only got that because I shot some guy in the head and got a 10,000 XP bonus for headshot accuracy, something like that. So, um, well, we'll see about that. Final score of the map, 51 kills, 1 death. Again, that doesn't happen every map. That, To be honest, that doesn't even happen every 10 maps. Um, if you play somewhat more reckless and um, try to get the objectives, no matter the cost, then you are looking about a... 2 to 1 or even 1 to 1 kill death ratio, but well, frag movies are fun, so um, yeah. I'll also do another Minecraft episode in the next hour, so um, we'll see about that. For now, thanks for watching and um, stay tuned for the next movies. This is the Terry Basbold signing off. Goodbye.